I'm making a video about running DeepSeek R1 on the Steam Deck. Can you write me the intro? Please. <laughs> Let's see what that comes up with. All right, that's gonna take a minute. And while that cooks, I wanna give you a proper, uh, like man-made introduction. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've been getting into running AI models on my local machines recently, uh, mostly because it's fun. And with the huge news of DeepSeek and like the absolute panic that OpenAI and Nvidia are in, and Nvidia's stock in free fall single-handedly because of DeepSeek, it's only made me more interested in running DeepSeek locally. However, it's one thing to run a model on a Jetson board or even a desktop with a 3080 in it, like what I have here. But what if I run DeepSeek on my Steam Deck? Oh, it's done. Get ready for something incredibly amazing! Today we're diving into a journey that bridges artificial intelligence with gaming, a topic you've probably never explored before. Whether you're a gaming enthusiast, an AI aficionado, or simply curious about the future of tech, prepare to be blown away as we explore how DeepSeek R1, one of the most advanced AI models out there, is running on your Steam Deck! This is ridiculous. So grab your coffee, sit back, and let's make this one one of the most exciting streams you've ever seen. Your brain might just be ready for something new and exciting like this. I probably should have added some more context with that prompt. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up DeepSeek and get it running on your Steam Deck the easy way. And then my friend James from Games Revealed and I will go over some of the fun stuff that we discovered when we were playing around with this. Now the first step is to get DistroBox configured. If you're not familiar with that, it's a container system that lets you run other distributions from within your terminal. There's even the possibility of running a containerized system with a GUI, which is outside the scope of this video, but it's pretty cool. Now thankfully, SteamOS comes with DistroBox pre-installed, and this solves a ton of issues that you're always going to encounter when trying to install something like Olama on SteamOS itself. And Olama is the tool that we need to actually access the DeepSeek model. So like I said, the first step is getting DistroBox configured. We're gonna run this command in our terminal. This is going to set up a container called Ubuntu. We're gonna use the Ubuntu 2404 image, and we're going to add systemd, libpam systemd, and lshw uh, before we get into the actual operating system that Olama requires. Now let's type in DistroBox, enter Ubuntu, and hit enter on our keyboard. And after a little bit, you're gonna see this screen. Let's navigate to Olama's website, and we're gonna copy the command to install Olama here. Back in our terminal, let's paste that command and hit enter. Now we're almost done. Just run the command Olama run deepseek r1 colon seven billion. Olama will download the model and run it on your Steam Deck. Now keep in mind that this is a seven billion parameter AI model. It's gonna take over four gigs of storage on your device. So if you don't have that available, you'll need to clear some space in order to do it. You will also probably need at least 10 gigabytes free to get everything set up and ready to go, especially if you wanna install other models, which we'll talk about a little later. Now, once it's running, you'll see a prompt like this. You can type in literally anything you want here and the model will generate a response. Well, almost anything. Anyway, this is where James and I started having a lot of fun with the prompts here. So I can run Olama run deep seek uh, 7 billion after a moment, and then you can just start chatting with it in your terminal. Is this running in the Steam Deck or? Yeah, dude. This is running on my Steam Deck. That's so, that's so crazy. <laughs> dude. So, like, uh, tell me about the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is a portable all-in-one gaming system developed by Valve, the company behind Steam, the world's largest digital games platform. That is crazy. It's going a little slower than normal, but like that's and. Yeah, I mean, it's like it is a little bit slower. Like if I run the seven billion model on my desktop, it it's... is a lot faster. Like it, it's like blazingly fast. Yeah, but, but uh, it's still like it's it, still it's, running it's... on the Steam Deck, which is crazy because yeah. I asked that question if it could. 
I think I told you when we were talking about getting on this call, like I'm not an AI guy, right? And yeah. I, you probably figured that out from the like my attitude towards it on the podcast. But yeah, no, I can <laughs> I knew that you were interested in this kind of stuff. And so I, I wanted to like reach out to you and, and get kind of your perspective on this. And, you know, you use it more than me. And I kind of was sitting here with the prompt, like just asking me for a prompt. And I'm like, I, I really don't even know the first place to start. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to get you on this call. I use AI to brainstorm. I use it to, I, I use it what's called Descript, and I, it does a lot of different things that just makes my life easier, which is one of the th reasons why I use AIs to make my life a little easier. I'm trying to figure out what the user is asking here. They pre previously were asked about the Steam Deck implementation, then I responded by explaining my knowledge cutoff. Now they're asking, what is Deep Seek R1? It's trying to get in my head, dude. Yeah, right? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it might get... It might have got stuck in a... Because this is definitely uh, more paragraphs i think than it's oh it's to. thinking right now oh it's, it's, this, it's, is, it's, it's this is just it thinking okay yeah and, and this will this will probably go on for another four or five paragraphs and then it will give me its okay. one or two paragraph response you could well you could also be like how can i benchmark you with ready on top <laughs> <laughs> i love how it's like oh you originally wanted this to... <laughs> so you're a bit hilarious. frustrated you're confused <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow that's brutal it's like they're confused there might be geriatric uh, assuming 70 year old man trying to <laughs> back in my day radio on top was the way we benchmark AI exactly <laughs> nice <laughs> I mean look at how short that think was yeah they didn't really have to it obviously had this already stored somehow and it, I, that, that's crazy it, I mean, if you ask it like a direct question, like tell me about the Steam Deck or tell me about Apex mm -hmm. Legends, it doesn't think. It just knows. It kind of just knows it already. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's, it's, that's impressive. That's yeah. impressive. That's very impressive. So this one is Llama three point two. Yeah. Anyway, so this is a different one. See, this is, this one's behaving a little more, bit more like ChatGPT. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, this is running approximately the same speed, you know? Yeah. Maybe a little bit faster. This is only 3 billion parameters. The other one was seven. Yeah, this one's, this one's definitely, it's faster, much faster. Yeah. Crazy how much faster that was. Do you want to like, uh, just say like who you are and like where people can follow you? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm James, also the Brink. I am, uh, my main channel is Games Revealed, where I talk about, about a lot of gaming tech, hardware, g video games themselves. Um, and so you can find me there on YouTube at Games underscore Revealed. You can also find me on Blue Skies, The Brink. Beyond that, though, I'm also on the Off the Console podcast with Gardner and High Tech. So uh, that might be the best place to find me because then I'm with friends. I asked it to solve math problems, which it seemed to handle with a plum. I asked it for advice for benchmarking games, which it was less successful at. I asked it what was the best game in 2023, since 2023 is the last year it has knowledge of, uh, and it got a lot wrong, like, like comically wrong. I even asked it for help generating titles for this video, and you know what? I gotta say it actually understood the assignment. But DeepSeek isn't the only option here. Now that we have this installed, you can run pretty much any LLM through Olama. Uh, DeepSeek is fun because it gives you deep insight into its quote unquote thought process, but there's more that you can do. You can install something like Llama or Lava, both of which have pretty decent performance on the deck's hardware and both have multimodal input capabilities so they can read text files, PDFs, and even images. I also asked DeepSeek to generate a website for me with CSS using complementary purple and green colors for the color scheme. And man, did it fail. Index. Open this. Save, and then let's open it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no, dude, that's ugly. I, I asked it to, Complementary purple and green colors. There isn't any purple and there isn't any green on this page at all. 
Now, the question is, should you do this? Practically, no. There's there's probably no reason for you to do this. I mean, it works astonishingly well given the constraints of the hardware, but I can't think of many practical uses to do this. On the other hand, this was absolutely a ton of fun and I learned so much too. Hopefully you did as well. Now, James and I, along with our friend High Tech Low Life, talked about DeepSeek, among many other things this week on our podcast. You can find a link to that episode here. Uh, you can get subscribed to that show. We're having a ton of fun doing it. And it's just two to two and a half hours of us talking about fun news things that happened in the tech world. If you want, you can check that out. If you enjoy it, you can get subscribed. And you can also subscribe to this channel. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Uh, do you want to see more AI style videos? Uh, more things to run on the Steam Deck? I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this video. Hopefully you had fun watching it. I want to thank my patrons for their continued support of this show. Uh, you can become a patron and support the show with a monthly contribution down below with the links. And with that, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.